Today we're going to be cleaning up our computer. The one reason your computer might be slow is because you're running low on RAM. And to find out how much RAM you actually have, you go to your start menu, and you go to computer, and you go to system properties. And you look right here, it says installed RAM. I personally have 8 gigabytes, but only 3.49 is usable, which isn't bad, considering a lot of computers only have 1 to 2 gigabytes of RAM in them. However, even with having this much RAM usable, my computer can still sometimes slow down. And what we need to do is sometimes our files um, kind of overload our computer with just random junk. And a way to fix this is download this program here called CCleaner. It's very simple. You just run it. Um, apparently I need to re-download it, but what it does is that um, you can analyze your computer, like what needs cleaned in it. Okay, I'm not going to close that, but see, this is everything that needs cleaned. I'm just going to show you. Let's see, we'll run the cleaner. And we're going to close Chrome. Ooh, that's going to be rough. Okay. I was supposed to have this unchecked. However, it doesn't matter because it still removed 82 megabytes. However, if you wipe, do wipe your free space, it's going to take a lot longer and it's going to clean a lot more. However, I've, I've already ran the wipe the free space and my computer is up to speed. And now we're going to move on to the registry. Just um, when you install things on your computer and you play with files and you save things, we can add um, registry issues. So let's scan for issues. Now if you've never ran this before, this is going to be a lot bigger. And we fix the issues. Do you want to save changes? Now this is up to you in case you want to revert back to previous changes, but it I never do. So no. And you fix all selected issues. And then you scan again. And we're done. Now this is going to speed your computer up a lot. And the way you can get this is you go to your browser and you go to ccleaner.com and it'll redirect you to peerform.com slash ccleaner. And right here is where you download it. You scroll down and you go to the file hippo. And then it's going to show you right here on the right all the versions you want to click this green bar for download the latest version and then your download will start soon see right there and I need a new version anyway so now we're going to move on to the next part the disk cleanup when you start this this will clean up all the disk which I don't want that started because it might close my recording device so you can find this by going to your search bar and just type in disk and there it is and you can drag it anywhere or you can just click it and now we're going to move on to the defragger this is what's going to clean your computer up the most now what this is when we use our computers we save files no matter if you're on the internet or if you download a file and save it or even if you save a file from paint, like you, you had a kid playing on your computer. But what this does, it'll save the files in random locations, and it makes our computer work a lot harder to find these files. And what the defragger does, it puts the files closer together so the system doesn't have to work as hard to find these files, and it makes it work a lot less, and it will speed your computer's performance up. Now you can either analyze the disk or you can just go right into the defragging. Personally, I just go straight to defragging. But I've already done this, so I don't need to do this. And you always want to scan drive C or whatever drive you're on. I'm not sure if Macs have these, but if they do, good for you. If not, it's so sad. This has been How to Speed Up Your PC. Thanks for watching.